What's going on guys, it's Bromland Empire Barbell and today we are going to cover your base and your ceiling. This is a visual representation of how your broad, non-specific physical characteristics relate to your hypothetical ceiling. That is your theoretical limit as to how far you can push yourself in one particular activity. Now your ceiling can represent anything physical. It can represent running a marathon, cycling the Tour de France, or completing a one rep max in a bench press. The idea is that every particular activity has very specific things that correspond to getting better at that, but are also supported by a wide variety of very broad traits. Running a marathon takes hours. It's very low intensity, it's very monotonous. A marathon runner in the off season might strength train, even though the movement, the energy systems, and the amount of work all differ very wildly from the demands of an actual marathon. That is a non-specific trait that will add to the foundation that will improve the runner's ability to perform at the highest level when it is time to specifically dial into the demands of running a marathon. Think of a fighter. A fighter might weight train or do boot camp type training. They might spend a lot of time cross training in the off season. But three weeks out from a fight, a fighter is most likely to be refining the things that are most specific to the fight. At that point, the hay is in the barn, as they say. You have developed yourself physically as much as you're going to, so now you're best served by worrying about precision, strategy, and training yourself to the most specific demands of the fight. In strength training, this is very obvious. If your ceiling is, let's say, performance in a powerlifting meet, we're looking forward to the specific demands of lifting a one rep max at a squat, bench, and deadlift. Well, the most specific movements are gonna be those movements, the most specific energy systems are going to be the immediate short-term energy system that is used to execute a one rep max. The amount of work is going to be very low, so volume gets very, very low going into a meet because that is the most specific thing you can do to prepare for it. Now, the thing is, any style of training has specificity associated with it. If you're starting out with, let's say, a linear progression, that amount of volume, those exercises, they are the same every single time. For starting strength, it is three sets of five with a squat, bench, and deadlift, and it only increases five pounds at a time. So the more you train that, the more specifically you develop to the demands of that training system. So you might start out as, let's say, a novice with a very low base from not having very much muscle mass, not having good familiarity with the lifts, and your actual position relative to your ceiling is very low. Novices, as we say, are too weak to work. Because their base is so narrow, they can't actually push themselves close enough to their ceiling to elicit a really big systemic response. That means that they can train those thresholds a lot harder and a lot more often. Novices can actually get a lot more work done than more advanced lifters are. The more advanced you get, the less recovery you have. So this line represents how close you are, how specialized you are, how close you are relative to that ceiling. So in the linear progression example, as you get closer and closer to that ceiling, you're going to find that you are very adapted to those specific qualities. So you might find that as you climb up and you get stronger, that your recovery gets worse. This is the reason that you can't run linear progressions indefinitely. Eventually, the amount of strength you have puts you so close to your ceiling that when you redline it, more recovery is demanded. That increasing recovery causes you to miss reps, which means you have to adjust your training to compensate. Usually that means spreading hard efforts further apart. Now, for those of you that aren't on, let's say a true blue linear progression, the same rules apply. If you've been training in the same threshold for too long, that means you are very specifically adapted to that threshold. So if you've been going heavy very often, if you've been doing the same movements, the same amount of work, you are due to go back to basics, get into your baseline, and start broadening those physical qualities. Because as you add muscle mass, as you work on your physique, you round out weaknesses, and as you bring up your ability to perform a high amount of work, you're going to widen your base, which means your ceiling immediately raises. Once your ceiling blows up, you're once again at that position where your current physical abilities put you farther away from that true potential, which means it's like revisiting newbie gains. You can once again train harder, train heavier. You're going to see faster growth. And by the time you do specialize and get closer to that ceiling once again, you're going to be much higher than you were when you started. So this pattern of using broad, non-specific movements and training thresholds to widen your base and then applying that growth to a more narrow, specific application that is relevant to, let's say, a competitive avenue, that basically makes up the nuts and bolts of periodization. The variety in exercises, the variety in volume and training thresholds, the ebbing and flowing back and forth is ultimately what keeps you fresh, what keeps you responding to new stimulus, but also what directs that stimulus in a specific way so that you can build each threshold off of each other. So for those of you that have been maxing out a little too often or very stubborn with your exercise selection, keep in mind that some time spent doing the stuff that you don't think is so fun 
might be exactly what you need instead of grounding out growth a few pounds at a time as you stubbornly hammer away at the exact same routine. So what parts of your base are missing? If you can think of something obvious that you've been neglecting in your training that might widen that base and throw that ceiling a little bit higher, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, this is Bromley at Empire Barbell. I'll see you.